Hi, my name is Nicole Heinzelman, and I'm Head of Adult Services at the Winter Park Public Library. This is our fourth video in our Prep for the Polls video series, and today we're going to be trying to learn how our candidates voted. And in creating this video, I learned a lot. Um, I began looking at various government sites, like the Florida House of Representatives, the Florida Senate, and the U.S. Congress. And I learned that it's kind of like looking for a needle in a haystack. Um, you can very easily read the text of bills, you can search for bills, but it's not so easy to get the roll call. You really have to dig. And it's not to say that you should not visit these sites to further educate yourself, because you should. And that is why I have included them in the handout that is available for this class. Also, congress.gov, another official website of the United States government. Very helpful to learn about the different representatives, but not so easy in learning how to <clears throat> find out how they voted. So for this class, I'm going to focus on three independent sites. Because those sites are easy to use, they have search boxes, and I'm going to show you in just a moment how to get to those. Let me just close out of these other sites. The first one is C-SPAN. C-SPAN shows the outcome of all recorded votes on U.S. Senate and House floors, plus the text of bills. You may be familiar with this from either watching it or channel surfing through cable. As we open this, we can see that it is split into two screens, the House and the Senate, and there's that search box I mentioned before. It's very helpful. We're going to search for Stephanie Murphy because she is up for re-election. And if I click on people, we can then choose her again and we'll get to her information along with videos of her recent appearances. But let's scroll further down the screen because eventually we're going to get to her record of votes right there, easily laid out. There's also other pertinent information I would like you to explore at your own convenience. But here we see her votes, including some she missed. Let's click on those. Let's scroll down and we'll see the two that she missed. And by clicking on that carrot, it's going to expand and we'll get a roster of everyone who was there that day that voted and the party they belong to. Right there is an ideological chart of the political spectrum for all who voted, which I think is very fascinating to spend some time with too. And we'll see that again later on. If you click on Senate, um, it's the same situation where you can use the search box, you can click on members, and use the drop-down menus to select members and even states for that. But that is C-SPAN, very helpful. There's that search box again. The next website is GovTrack. GovTrack shows the outcome of all recorded votes on U.S. Senate and House floors. It does not include votes in committee, and not all votes are recorded, such as when there is no one opposed. You can click on track votes to get an email every time Congress votes on a bill. And up there in the upper left right corner is that search box. We will click, we will search for Stephanie Murphy again, and let's see what we can learn about her here. There she is. Let's click on her name. We get our regular information, including how to get in touch with her, and another ideology chart. Fascinating. Further down, we see ratings from advocacy organizations, which I think is fascinating, too. Further down, now more enacted legislation, bills she has sponsored, and voting record on key votes. And clicking on any of those will give you the text of the bill and more information. Aha, there is the missed votes from 2017 to May of 2020, right there. I'm scrolling back up because I do want to highlight a report card that GovTrack creates for each member of Congress. This will give you information to answer questions that you may not have known you had or curious facts about the candidate. I'm not going to scroll all the way down the screen, although it does go for some time, but I do want to give you an idea of what you can find out on the report card. You can also view different bills and votes and look through different legislators that way with a menu or use the search box. The last website is Head to Head Compare Voting Records. This is brought to you by ProPublica. ProPublica is an independent newsroom led by some of the nation's most distinguished editors. 
you can compare the votes from any two members of Congress. If we um, go down and click on that blue bar, it will expand and we can begin typing in um, Stephanie Murphy. We could also have scrolled down to find her as well. And it will pull her up and then we will be tasked with selecting another representative to compare. I am going to scroll down and click on the very first one I find from Florida, who happens to be a Republican. So we know that they won't agree on everything. They may not agree on anything, but let's find out as it loads. And here are the votes they agreed on. Interesting. And you can click on any of those in bold to learn more about those particular bills. If you scroll back up, in the upper left-hand corner, you can click on Compare Votes, and this does take some time to load, so we do need to practice some patience. But I am clicking on it and waiting because I want to bring up Marco Rubio, who was not up for re-election. Nevertheless, I wanted to um, pull him up as a senator, and that should be loading any second. There's the Lobbying tab. You can learn more about lobbying through ProPublica but you'll recall that we talked about lobbying in one of our other videos, but there is more there that you can find out. Should be loading any second, there we go. Again, we'll click on that blue bar and we will type in Marco Rubio. I must admit I was disappointed to discover that Rick Scott is not listed in here. He does not come up. So Marco Rubio will, and we next need to select a Senator. And you'll see that I did try to type in Rick Scott and he did not come up. So what I did instead was I just went down the uh, menu of other senators and just picked one at random. Richard Burr from uh, North Carolina, I think I went with him. And he will come up and it will look very similar to the previous screen with Stephanie Murphy, but still something worth looking at. And again, clicking on any of those will get you more information. So that is the Head to Head Compare Voting Records site, the third of the independent sites I have shown you today. Again, this is not to say that you should not take time to visit those other official government sites from Florida or the United States. Do take the time to further educate, but these three have done the work for you. They have done the digging for you. I do hope you have enjoyed your time spent here, I know I have, and I will see you at the polls.